Hello beautiful people, this is All Things Gold coming to you again with another makeup tutorial and today this look is inspired by Disney's Ariel the Little Mermaid. I always start off with my brows using the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in the color chocolate. I'm going to go ahead and go over my eyebrows with the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in the color Red Fire. And to set my eyebrows, I'm going to lightly brush over a red shadow from the 88 Coastal Scents palette. To prime my face, I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Base. Color correcting using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the color Warm Coral to go over my acne scarring. Using the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel, I am going underneath and over the top of my eyebrows to clean up any harsh lines. For my foundation, I'm using a new foundation. It's called Makeup Forever Water Blend in the color R520. And what I like about this foundation is it's quite smooth. It's a little more smoother than the Ultra HD Makeup Forever foundation, which used to be my go-to. For my concealer, I switched it up. I'm using Too Faced Born This Way naturally radiant concealer in the color tan this is also my new go-to concealer because like the makeup forever water blend foundation this concealer has a water base to it some say that it has coconut water in it i'm not quite sure about that but what i find is that this concealer um, glides on a little bit more and absolutely looks more natural so I'm blending that out on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose with my Beauty Blender sponge around my mouth, on my jawline, and last but not least, the center of my forehead. To contour, I'm using the color chocolate in the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit to give my face a little bit more definition. When you do not contour, your makeup looks flat, but to give it more dimension, you need to add a little bit more color. Laura Mercier Translucent Powder is used to set my contour. <laughs> I was listening to Pay Phone. I am obsessed with that song. Everywhere I put the concealer and I'm just sweeping that away with a brush. Using my Makeup Forever powder in the color 177, I am blending out all the harsh lines from the foundation and the concealer and the contour, making it one big heavy family. To set my contour, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the color Coco. Adding powder to your contour just sets it so it does not disappear and gives your face a little bit more dimension. Base, I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion to give the eyeshadow something to stick to. And blending that out with my ring finger. Taking the Urban Decay Vice Palette, I'm using the color Bitter to go over my lid as a transition color. Using the Tartlet Palette, I'm using the color 
Rebel, which is a similar shade, just to define my outer crease. Taking the color 1985 from the Urban Decay Vice Palette, I'm using that in my outer V and my inner crease. Now I'm using the color called Underhand, which is a deeper purple, and I'm using that to define my outer V. Now I'm using the color called Beat Down, which is a bluish purple. It is so pretty in this palette. And I'm further defining my, my crease and my outer V to give my eyelid even more dramatic definition. any harsh lines now for the lid I'm using the NYX jumbo pencil and pearl and then I am lightly tapping fastball from the vice palette to go over my lid Here comes the fun. So I'm using the glitter primer from NYX. And I'm gonna take the pink glitter from NYX and just pack it on my eyelid where the pink color is. You can pack on as less or as much as you like. I try to go somewhere in between. Just blending that out to make sure that the pink and the purple transitions well. For my lower lash line, I'm using the color Grasshopper from the Urban Decay Vice Palette. Now I'm taking a purple eyeliner pencil and going close to my waterline. Repeating the same steps on my other eye. This was my most favorite part, packing on the glitter. Because every mermaid needs glitter. a white eyeliner to line my waterline and then for my mascara I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. I really like this mascara. It's a great alternative to the Better Than Sex that I usually use. For my lashes I'm using Risqué Coco Lashes. They're pretty wispy and I love them. 
for my blush, I'm using Gulu by NARS, which is a very pretty pink. For my highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Glow Kit in the color Hard Candy. Lining my lips using the same pencil I used to make my eyebrows red. NYX Butter Lipstick in the number 34 to top off my lips. Wait one second, I'll be right back. Now what aerial costume or makeup look wouldn't be complete without a red wig? I got this wig from Amazon. It was actually on sale for $8.99. It was quite um, tangly, but I worked with it with the help of some gold bobby pins to pin the hair in place because Ariel had like a heavy bang and even though this hair wasn't luminous as I thought it would be, I tried to improvise. The jewelry that I'm wearing is from goldrushboutique.com. So here's my take on the Ariel Mermaid. I hope you guys like this look. Share this video, subscribe to my channel, comment, and let me know what else you would like to see. I'm open to doing any other characters. guys for watching and have a wonderful